2023 International MV Extended Cab Miller Industries Chevron Steel Bed. But this one here has got a little extra touch. Auto Grip 2. Snatch Grip, Auto Grip, Self Loader. Chevron Bed, which we do not see very often. We have just upgraded with extra LED strobing lights front and back this unit's got the front and rear mud flaps nice stainless door boxes jump connection there AccuRide alloy wheels polished tank nice clean interior of course it should be it's basically brand new I think this truck's only got a couple thousand miles on it See the extra lights up front, color match visor, Wayland strobe light bar. Beautiful truck. Auto grip has become very hard to get. And it does have double tanks. And it also has a little galvanized trash can, broom, whatever you want to put area right here where it's got a broom and a shovel, but that's awesome for trash and debris and extra straps and chains keeping them out of your toolboxes beating your toolboxes to death i think we introduced a lot of people to the auto grip option uh, that had never seen it on the back of a rollback it's been out for a while of course but we uh have had a lot of trucks come in with it and dang if people don't like it they they eat that alive so um it does have a little extra piece behind them right there on this side as well so you put a small fuel can in there. It's got a little trash can bag or box or whatever and a couple of other things right there. So, very nice truck. You will not see these very often. We are struggling with low mileage, late model inventory. Uh, when I say struggling, we're down from, uh, I think we still got about 50 tow trucks in stock, but... We had probably 50 almost brand new tow trucks in stock at one point. Still a few in our new little area here, tucked away, looking good. 2022 International, 22 KW. There's a 22 or 23 Pete around here. Oh, that might be it right there. 2023 Ford 650, 2023 Freightliner. Quite a few 2023 Rams, quite a few 2022 Ford 550s. So good inventory, well, great inventory still, but man, we were on top of the world at one point. Bucket trucks, yes. Bucket trucks have come in. That's gonna be a come and go. We love them, we stock them all the time, but that is a one hit wonder situation there they only get turned in once every 10 to 15 years so and we're very picky on our bucket trucks and where we get them from and a 2024 kw there are two of these left cab chassis this one's becoming a custom trash truck um want to make it into a rollback it is proper spec for a rollback or a tow truck but 2024 kw these are beautiful trucks High option spec, 22 and a half, polished tanks, chrome, bug deflectors, fog lights. We deck these trucks out. Stainless air horns, stainless brow visor, antennas. Actual out coal wheels inside and out. Air ride. So, like I said, we do a, a very high spec on these trucks. And then, yes, you hear that excursion running. That is not a 7.3 clackling over here or a 6.0. That's a 6.7 excursion. There is a video on the channel with that as well. Keep watching. We've got some expansion going on over here. This building's getting ready to be enclosed and getting some uh, flooring put in it in the next couple days. So we're going to have a very nice showroom over here for some exotics. Some of our brand new tow trucks, some of our new and used equipment. There's our twin turbo 
Cummins donor truck. The truck's getting ready to have the part pulled out of it. And it is actually going in our eight door custom stretched Chevy monster mega truck. So stay tuned for that. It's a darn shame because this is a very rust free truck. It was red, it's been painted pearl white, but not rusty. So if you're looking for a donor cab or body, you will not find a nicer one. Actually, we'll do a quick video on that as well. Thanks for watching. Appreciate everybody tuning in. The channel is growing. If you see something that you like or you want more content, we have yet to bring you any of the wild and crazy stuff we do on the after hours. We're trying to keep this as a business content page, but the more we see Whistling Diesel and the Diesel Brothers and Street Speed and all these other guys, which are great channels, uh, if you don't subscribe, check them out. We've been watching Whistling Diesel since his very first videos, just like, man, look at this guy. and He is he has become something else, that's for sure. Great great guy, great content, but I can say it's not much they do that we don't in total chaos on the after hour scene between mud bogs, drag racing, helicopter, performance boats, speed boats, fishing boats, uh, the marina with crazy stuff going on around there. Um, ATV side by sides, rolling them over, jumping them up hills, demolition derby with cars, and for sure, putting most every vehicle to its test of abilities these days. So anyway, may uh, sneak in a little bit of that content. We're trying to keep it very professional, business oriented. But if you guys uh, know of something that we have that you'd like to see more of, some of our personal trucks and things like that that we've tucked away. We do have people reach out and ask for stuff. So if it's something in particular you guys have seen in a video or know that we have and want to see it resurrected or brought back, drop us a line. You never know what we might do next. DavisAutoSales.com, Davis4x4.com, DavisOffRoad.com, Above Average Trucks, Davis Water Sports. Thanks for watching.